We have a round part that needs dovetails on it and our manual lathe was open. Here's a picture of my manual lathe when I bought it brand new in 2002. I modeled the dovetails in SolidWorks paying close attention to where to put reliefs to ensure proper fit. I then created a 2D shop floor drawing. We then came up with some extended lathe soft jaws and bored them. I took a DNMG 432 and kicked it to 60 or 30 degrees depending on which way you look at it with a shim so I could then take and plunge it like a form tool and get the dovetail I needed. I milled the jaws on the machining center to 60 or 30 degrees depending on which way you look at it also. Cutting the dovetail on the manual lathe means we don't have a machining center and an operator tied up performing a really simple operation. Cutting the dovetail on the lathe slightly faster than the machining center is running parts while the machining center is running parts is the most efficient way of doing this. You will notice that I am not facing the parts completely to center. That's because it's not necessary and a waste of time. I am focusing on only doing what needs to be done. I am a huge fan of simplicity. Don't make things complicated if you don't have to. Utilize the equipment you have. It's unlikely you can program and set up a machining center in the time I can set up and run a simple part of my manual lathe. Because I am cutting the dovetail on the blank while the machining center is running, it does not matter how fast I do it so long as I am doing it fast enough that the machining center is not waiting on me. I really think people don't take the time to utilize their manual equipment properly. A decent digital readout, quick change tool post, a chuck that you can bolt soft jaws to, are all modest investments that you can make to your manual lathe so it will be much more efficient. Just investing in having everything you need where you need it to run a manual machine will make it much more efficient. Because the net effect on labor hours is zero in this instance to cut the dovetails, I can have someone else running another job on one of the other machining centers. Don't tie up more capable equipment with simple tasks if you don't have to. I usually try to avoid using the air hose if I don't have to. Compressed air seems to often put chips where you don't want them. Here you can see the finished blank off of the lathe and sort of see the dovetail that I plunge cut. <laughs> 